Hi folks, thanks for joining us on the uh, virtual event platform being used for the NEPIC event. Uh, I hope, hopefully you've had, uh, haven't had too many issues getting signed in to the platform and uh, you've ended up on a screen that looks something uh, like this. And the purpose of the video is to, uh, to tell you how to find or to show you how to find your session that you're going to present in. And of course, once you get into the, the room in question that you're going to present in, what you will need to do. So you can uh, access uh, the list of all of the sessions that are going to appear on what's called the stage by clicking this icon or using the icon over here on the left which also says stage so I'm going to click on uh, on this particular one here and of course uh, you can see there's a long list you can scroll through until you find your particular room uh, where you are going to present in uh, and then quite simply click into it so I've already uh, clicked into one of the uh, the rooms in question uh, and this is the, uh, the, the the room I've gone into. And you'll notice that uh, the first thing that happens is it automatically puts you backstage, uh, which is where we are here. It tells you, sorry, you now get to watch me as well as listening to me. It tells you you are backstage because you've got the backstage icon down here in the bottom left-hand corner of your screen. Uh, come the time on event day that you are due to present, you're going to click on uh, the go live button. In this instance, it's going to be Andy. Andy's on at half nine. He's going to click on go live, which I'm about to do, and that will automatically transport you to the stage area. So no longer are you uh, backstage, you are now live in front of your audience. You know you're live because it's changed to being live down here in the bottom left corner. And uh, you can probably also see uh, an audience list. There you go. You can see the seven people uh, already uh, dropped into this particular session uh, as audience uh, members. So whatever that figure is, come event day. That's how many people you're going to have in your audience. Uh, if you need to see who, who those guys are, who those folks are, then if you come over here to the tab on the right and click on audience, then they will be listed uh, down here for you. As it's, at the moment, it's just me. It's showing. Uh, you can also see who has got panel rights in this particular session. So in this instance, the speaker here is Andy. And of course, all of your admins will be listed uh, down here as well. So what is it you can do uh, once you've uh, you've gone live, uh, you're in front of your audience? Uh, well, the first thing you're probably going to want to do is you're going to want to share your screen. And that couldn't be simpler. Down here, you can see an icon that says screen share. Whilst I'm down here, incidentally, there's an icon there that says mute and unmute. Turns your microphone off. And there's one there that turns your camera on and off as well. So if you needed to do that, you can do. But we're just going to focus on screen share. So at this particular point, I've already got a PowerPoint presentation open in the background. Uh, which uh, I would strongly advise you do exactly the same thing come event day so that when I go to screen share it gives me some options I can either share my entire screen or I can share a particular application so in this instance I did want to share a uh, PowerPoint um, but it's not uh, recognizing it for whatever reason so I'll, uh, I'll just minimize it and then I'll come back to the platform and as you can see when I go to the application window then it does uh, it does give me the uh, the option to uh, to share PowerPoint. So I've highlighted it, and of course the power the button the share button uh, illuminates blue. So in the moment I click it, as you can see, the PowerPoint has now come up on the uh, on the screen. Now a couple of things that uh, I need to sort of tell you about. The first thing is the what tends to happen is your camera is automatically turned off the moment you go into share mode. You can see. It's now red, there's a line through it, your camera has been turned off. It does that uh, mostly for bandwidth issues. The second thing that's to tell you about is PowerPoint, if you are using PowerPoint, will, will open over the top of the platform. So you can see the current view here is all I can see is the PowerPoint presentation. As I scroll through the slides, then I can't actually see the platform behind it. Uh, I know that, that can be a little disconcerting for some, uh, because you can't see the interaction, but you're just going to have to be assured that your audience are seeing the same slides that you're you're presenting from, and of course your audience can also hear you. Uh, when uh, when you are done, simple simply a case of uh, escaping your PowerPoint presentation, closing it down, uh, and that automatically should uh, there we go bring your camera back live. So I'll close my presentation down, I'll close my PowerPoint presentation down, and that brings my camera uh, live again. Now. I know I've touched on the fact that uh, you the PowerPoint, when it's open, you can't see the interaction from your audience. But what you can do, of course, before you start or during your presentation, 
is encourage your audience to drop their feedback, their questions, their observation into one of two areas. Over here on the right, you've got a discuss tab and you've got a Q&A tab. The Q&A is exactly that. It's for questions. Your audience can uh, can type a question, whatever it is that they want to want to say. And of course, you can pick it up and deal with it accordingly. If they were feeling brave, they can also raise their hand. You can see the little hand raise icon there. They can raise their hand. You'll get a notification to say that somebody's raised their hand and you can invite them to come live with you on the stage where they can ask their question uh, themselves. And of course, you can answer it. Most people don't do that uh, and you probably don't have time for that, uh, but it's an option if you do want to use it. But they can certainly type their questions here uh, and you can answer them accordingly. The other place they can uh, drop questions is in the Discuss tab. Uh, and of course, in the Discuss tab, they can post anything, not just questions, they can drop uh, information in there, they can drop observations, feedback, and that becomes a bit of a, a, bit of a timeline of comments. Uh, and that can often get very, very busy. Uh, so it may be easier if you encourage your audience to drop the questions into the Q&A section. Uh, when you're done presenting and you're done going through your Q&A, it's simply a case of going backstage again. So back up to this red button where it says go backstage. Uh, click on that and that elevates you or moves you back to being in the backstage area. And again, it changes down here from being live to being backstage so in the same way you would in a theatre, uh, which is a lot safer than you finish your presentation and you're done. So that's pretty much it. Find your, your room you're going to present in. Uh, jump into the room. Once you're there, uh, you, 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 you go backstage. Uh, you're automatically dropped in backstage. And of course, come event time, come event day, uh, you're going to go live in front of your audience. You share your screen. You take them through the presentation. You deal with any questions. And when you're finished, you come backstage again. Uh, and it couldn't be simpler. So that's it, folks. Uh, feel free to uh, drop me any questions. If you'd want to have a, a little catch up on the platform, I'm sure we can arrange that and go through any uh, anything that you'd, uh, you want to know about. Uh, but hopefully this uh, explains uh, most info that you will need. I will see you on event day.